College life is hard. You have a lot of responsibilities, like doing your laundry, attending rad parties, and protecting yourself from hot alien chicks with snakes coming out of their chests. Wait, what? Welcome to Dumb Down, the show where we summarize movies so that we could understand them better. Today's movie, Decoys. Hot off the success of Species came many clones, this being one of them. Luke Callahan is a generic college freshman who happens to still be a virgin. He hangs out with his best friend Roger, a loudmouth who also happens to still be a virgin. You think Melody knows I'm a virgin? Actually, yeah. <laughs> There's also his friend Alex, an attractive girl who's obviously into him, but he can't see it yet because it's only the beginning of the movie. And this super hilarious comedic relief named Gibby. I'm like a deer in boob lights right now. I'm just saying, who she got the Madonka dog? Who? <laughs> One day, while doing his laundry, Luke meets two seductive girls named Lily and Constance. Hey. And this is my cousin Constance. Hola. Sorry, I have uh, an oral fixation. He later finds their room unlocked and enters to drop a roll of quarters that the girls purposely left behind. He quickly hides in the closet when he hears that someone's coming. This is where he discovers that if a hot chick hits on a freshman, they're either crazy or some sort of fucking alien. This one is some sort of fucking alien. Wow. From the closet, he watches in horror and confusion as his reptilian tentacles unfold from their chest and sexually arouse them. <laughs> Those blondes that you met, Raj, there's something seriously bent about them. He rushes to tell his friends, but no one believes him. Her chest, it burst open. And then these black fussy snakes start whipping around. And dude, I'm telling you, she's standing there, euphoric, just drinking in the spray from this trippy aerosol can. And then Bigfoot showed up. Black fussy snakes start whipping around. I want you to calm down, OK? I want you to breathe. Black fussy snakes start whipping around. Luke decides to get to the bottom of this by himself and attends a party to run into the alien girls again. At the party, he ends up getting seduced again like a fucking idiot, despite knowing that these two are possible alien bitches. You idiot! When one of the aliens gets crowned Ice Queen by Bobby, the captain of the hockey team, she decides to spend time with him instead. This infuriates Luke and leads him to square off. Pussy. After getting his ass bitch slapped, Luke leaves with his tail between his legs. Meanwhile, Roger is repelling pussy like a champ. I just want my, my first time to be special, you know? Later that night, and almost 30 minutes into this cringe fest, we see our first kill of the movie. Lily makes Bobby deep throat a bunch of alien snakes until he freezes to death. Black fussy snakes start whipping around. Being that he was seen fighting with Bobby the night before, Luke is now the number one suspect, and this detective lets him know it. Bye-bye, puppy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, puppy. I bet my badge that kid did it. Gibby later ends up fucking in a cemetery. You sick. You know that, Natasha? And I like it. Come here, girl. Give me some shit, man. Only for us to discover that his girlfriend also happens to be an alien and she kills them, giving us probably the most satisfying death in movie history. Not because it's a good kill or anything, just simply because we don't have to listen to his poor attempts at comedy anymore. Seriously, he even tries to be funny while fucking. Come on now, girl, come on. You do me right, I'll buy you a house, baby. I'll buy you a house with a big ass bathroom in it, and you can have all sorts of perfumes and it can all... Oh. Later, Luke convinces Alex to hide a camera in the sorority house bathroom to catch the aliens on tape. At the same time, he has possibly the worst hidden camera in the history of hidden cameras inside his own dorm room. Just throw some boxers on top and voila, hidden fucking camera. He later takes Lily back to his dorm room as Alex sadly monitors everything through the super secret hidden camera as he goes to finger her weird chest hole. For whatever reason, unexplained to us, she notices the hidden camera. Maybe it's due to the fact that it's hidden like shit, but who knows. She also causes the camera to fritz off and get super staticky. As Lily freaks out, she knocks over some candles, and here we discover that their weakness is in fact fire. We also finally see their true form for the first time, and it looks like complete shit. I had to
to stop jerking off to this movie the moment I saw this. So Luke tries to tell the cops, but due to the hidden camera acting up, he doesn't have enough proof. All this proves to me is that you're demented. Meanwhile, Roger reveals to Constance that Luke thinks that her and Lily are serial killer aliens from outer space. But in a twist of events, Constance reveals to Roger that yes, all of that is true, but she was unable to kill Roger because she loves him with all her killer alien heart. You gotta be kidding me. You're a serial killer from outer space? Their reason for being on Earth is to impregnate men because their race is dying out. But in an attempt to do so, they have been accidentally killing all the men they've slept with. Roger decides to give it a shot. He believes that he could be the first man to survive. They do the deed and things seem to go okay until some creepy ass spiders start crawling out of Roger's mouth, causing him to die. God damn it! But not before him and Luke have a super tender bro moment. I love you, Roger. And not even 30 seconds after seeing his friend die, Luke learns that his other friend, Gibby, the quote unquote comedic relief, is also in fact dead. They're spreading like a goddamn sickness! I wanna help. Now, Luke is no longer fucking around. They arm themselves with a homemade flamethrower and a fuck ton of corny lines. Baby got back up. Oh, that's it, ladies. Show me your navels! To have the epic final showdown. After Luke and Detective Amanda defeat the sexy aliens, Luke and Alex head back to his room and profess their love for one another. Here they begin to fool around, completely forgetting the fact that literally all of his friends are completely dead. But who cares when you're about to get some pussy? However, before he can get his dick wet, it is revealed to us that Alex is also an alien bitch from Planet Hooters. And the movie ends as she rapes and attempts to impregnate Luke. What a twist. <sighs> Makes me wish I would have listened to Alex earlier in the movie. There's a Cronenberg Festival at the Cross River Cinema tonight, so let's just blow off this whole Animal House thing, okay? <sighs> Black fussy snakes start whipping around! Well guys, this has been Decoys Dumbed Down. A completely mediocre species clone with unlikable characters. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, and follow me on Instagram. See ya! Bye! Goodbye, 2D. Hello, 3D. <laughs> <laughs>